Hello, David here, and the project for today is rebuilding the carburetor on the Honda lawnmower. This is a model HRA214, and I'm rebuilding the carburetor because it's hard to start. I know it's getting sparks, so I'm pretty sure it's a carburetor. There are three 10 millimeter bolts to remove to get the air box off of the intake portion of the carburetor. And the good thing about rebuilding carburetors on these lawnmowers is you usually don't need parts. It's usually a matter of cleaning. If you need any gaskets or O-rings, it's probably because the original was torn. Careful about the air box here. There's two sleeves that might fall out on you. In this case, they're not that loose, so they're just going to stay in the air box. But they do tend to fall out. And you could push this over to the side. If you want to remove it, just, just undo that hose clamp and pull the hose off. I recommend taking a picture of the... Uh, the springs and the linkage in here so you could get it back together again just in case you forget how it goes. Let's pull the gas line off the carburetor. I'm gonna clamp it off so it doesn't leak. I'm going to take this clip off of here. This clip just holds the gas line tubing to this housing. You can move this plate and gasket. The metal side of the plate is outward and the rubber side faces the carburetor. Carburetor doesn't exactly pull off because of the linkage. Unfortunately, this linkage doesn't just well, this linkage doesn't just pop out. This one will pop out if you open the throttle and then pull up. Kind of have to push in on it a little bit while you pull up. Clear that plastic. And on this hole, this spring, whoops, comes out. There might be a simpler way, but the easiest way I could see of getting this rod disconnected because of the bend in the rod is to take this throttle plate assembly off, and there's two 10 millimeters holding that on. I guess I'll open that to make sure I get some Good cleaning action. I've got my surgery set up with some clean newspaper. I'm going to first remove the fuel bowl. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You want to scrape the gunk out of there with a screwdriver and a paper towel. And if you leave fuel in your fuel bowl in the off season, you can have all kinds of rust and gunk in there. I always close the fuel valve and run the engine before I shut it down so the carburetor runs completely free of any fuel. 
But you know, even though I've been doing that all these years, I still get some gunk in here. Next we'll take the float off. Just slide this pin out. And lift the float up. The needle should come off with it. There's the needle. Next we need to take the jet out. The jet is in here. And it usually requires either a special screwdriver or you have to grind the screwdriver narrow. Any screwdriver that's narrow enough and to fit in there will probably be too narrow to turn the jet out because the jet has a hole in the middle. So you need a pretty wide screwdriver to engage the slot on either end of the jet. I'll show you. But it's made out of brass and it's soft. And if you strip it, it's going to be stuck in there for good. Okay, I grabbed it. Okay, that's the jet. You can see the slots are on the end. And hold it up to the light to see if it's clogged. If you don't see any sunlight coming through there, there's your problem. So you need compressed air, and if you have a little tiny, uh, tiny needle or something, you sure you don't want to mangle it and make it bigger than it is. But if you have a, a tiny wire, tiny piano wire to push through there, that'll be helpful. I like to uh, either spray carburetor cleaner in it or acetone and then blow it out with compressed air. And then there's another piece in here that has to come out. There's this. And it only goes in one way. If you notice there's a, a long collar and a short collar, the long collar is the one that goes in first. And if you have trouble getting it out, you can see it in the throat of the carburetor. You'll see a little brass piece sticking up in the bottom of the throat of the carburetor. You just get a screwdriver and push down on it, and that'll get it out. I'm trying to see if there's light coming through here and I could see some clogs in here as well. So I think this is my problem. This is clogged too so I need to soak that good with some acetone and blow that out. And uh, I'll blow this out as well. Let's take off Should take off this gasket. I want to get this gasket off without ruining it. That's paper. I'm afraid I'm going to tear that. I'll just work around it. Take this idle needle off. Before you take it off, turn it in and see how many turns it is. So you could get it back in the same position. It's a half, one turn, a half. That was uh, one and a half turns plus a quarter turn. Take this needle out and clean it really good. I don't see any gunk on there. 
That's what that looks like. Let's take this thing off. From what I could tell, this screw is just a lock screw. There's no orifice in the hole this goes in. This lock screw holds in this thing. And it has a flat side, so it only goes in one way. I'm going to pry this out of there. There's no overing on here or anything. So that's what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to go to town on this body and get this body cleaned up. Then I'll blow it out with air and I'll be back. Okay, let's put this thing back together again. Got this part. Longer end goes in first. Followed by the jet. Okay, let's put the float in. A retainer pin. Just get that centered. Make sure the float has some swing to it. Should drop by gravity. That's good. Got the bowls next. Put a little silicone paste on that O-ring. Just a dab. Uh, I guess I'll access it by putting the paste on the bowl. You want to position the drain hole so that it's facing outward. You don't want it facing the other way. So this is the outward side of the carburetor because this is the on-off valve. So I want to have the, the drain facing the same side. Maybe off to the side a little bit. Put the idle adjustment screw in. Gonna turn it in till it stops. Take it out one and a half turns plus a quarter. One half, one, one half, quarter. Put in this thing. Remember the flat side faces the carburetor and there's a little little flat on there to make sure you got it in the proper position. Stubborn. Why aren't you going in? Maybe I put a little silicone on you. That's all I took was a little silicone. I'll put that retaining screw in.
I got the uh, fuel line hooked up. Uh, the throttle cable. Okay, that snaps in. Whoops. Oh, this little spring. Choke linkage. Get the throttle assembly screws in. If you were paying attention, you notice that I forgot to put that little retainer clip in for the fuel line that clips back into there. I don't know if I could clip that in. Let's see if I could fit that in without taking that throttle plate off again. I'm going to take that plate off. All right, I got that retainer back in place. Goes on like that. Put the air cleaner on, make sure these two metal cylinders didn't slip out. That was a good time to replace your air filter. Let's see if it starts. Choke on! And the cutoff switch works as well. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.